All right, we live. What's up, yo? I can't find none of my magnets, so we're going to get some of these hard drives, but first... Damn, mosquito done got me. Most excellent. There we go. It's back. Got me right on the forehead, too. I don't know if you can see that or not. Got me right there. Damn it. Excuse me, man. You're making your last stand, y'all. So I took all the screws out of this hard drive. I saved the one that's hidden right here. So I want you to see me at least take one of them out. You know? And well, you know, if I have work, I'll do it. I just haven't had any. So it is what it is. You can't have it all in life. But when you run out of magnets, you know what to do. You know? Get you some. Get you some hard drives. Get you some magnets. It's as simple as popping this bad boy open. This one got two screws. It sure does. Some of them have one. Some of them have two hidden. It ain't hard. You just get your flathead screwdriver and dig around that little tab right there. There's a special bit right here. I can't remember what size it is. I don't tend to know what size. I just pick them out and look at them. That's what I'm talking about. Throw that on there. Pop this beast open. Maybe. Is there three in there? No, it can't be. Really? There is. Oh, this, you know why? It's a server hard drive, that's why. I didn't even think about it. I didn't look at it. Sometimes in server uh, 15, that's 15 uh, K.7, you'll have three of them hidden screws in it. But it is, what, maybe four. Wow, this one got four? Get the hell out of here. Really? This thing's showing me what's up. Let's see where number four is. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, I don't recall ever seeing four on the top, hidden. Apparently they are. Boom, just like that. Just like that. Some people say this is sometimes aluminum, sometimes tin. You know what, we got a magnet right here, we're going to find out. Platter, breeder. Actuator, magnet, two of them, two magnets. They're strong too, boys. See that? They don't even want to come out. Come out, I want to borrow you for a minute. Just like that, you got your magnet out of there. This one's in case, but I'll pop it out later. It's got little rubbers holding it in, a little bit of plastic. I'll just pinch that with a pair of... Uh, Channel locks, snips, whatever I decide to pinch it with. We're going for this bottom one. They're usually flat on the bottom. Sometimes they're flat on the top, but not on these 15.7K. Uh, ain't trying to hear it, you know? Who's all in the house? We've got five people here. Y'all say something. Talk to see who's here. Say hi to you. Let you know I care. It's going to have one on the bottom, too? Probably. Yep, sure does. Nice. Take it all the way apart. Get some clean cast out of it. Why not? Aluminum ain't worth nothing. But we'll take it apart. I think uh, wife's in there cooking for the kids. So if y'all leave a comment and I'll see it, she'll see it. And then there was three. Where's all my friends? I feel so lonely. <laughs> yeah. Can't have it all, y'all. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Jeez, this thing just doesn't want to come out. What's the damn deal here? It's probably spinning. There it goes. Just like that. Just like that. Got yourself a strong magnet right there. Strong. What's up, Shark? Getting some magnets out, man. Uh, what do you say? Oh, you're here? <laughs> he rode here like uh, like something's going on. I'm like, here. I ran out of magnets, so I got to bust a few of these hard drives open and get a couple extra magnets. Cause Y'all know how it is to be without a magnet? I went to the plumbing dumpster and got some stainless. I got a fountain up in there and a couple fountain shells of stainless. Throw that one right there. Oh, yeah. 
Some people say these covers are something. Man, that's tin shred, y'all. You see that magnet stick to it? But some of the covers aren't tin. They're not steel. Some of them. Now, I'll get to this here in a little bit. These platters, uh, everybody says there's something. I throw those in with sheet aluminum. And this is cast. And I save this actuator because I give them away to my friends. They're dying for that gold that's in there. Right, Irish? <laughs> so we've got two magnets here. I already did you the agony of taking out the side screws on this one. I just got the, maybe one hidden one, maybe. Nope, I got the hidden one too, I think. We'll see. It's just a seven, what is this, a 75? This is a one terabyte that uh, someone sent over to me. And uh, it didn't read or register right. And I heard it clicking, so it was skipping. His actuator was stuck. And it is. When you open them like that, they're supposed to be one place or the other. It's probably this little separator right here. It's hard to say what it is. You know what I mean? It's just broke. It's broke. So we'll yank that little magnet off there, and we'll continue with what we're doing, y'all. i got to change bits for this crap. Let me, uh, let me run in and grab my bit real quick. You know what? No, I'll just, I'll just keep going. Then we'll run in the house. I'll jump on a computer. I'll invite some people up. If there's anybody in the house, we'll have a little bit of fun. Chit chat. Um, where is my miniature one? I uh, might have lost it already. Uh, there it is. It's kind of small, and I don't want to hear that's what she said jokes. Thank you, man. I appreciate you loving the videos. Um, we're growing. We're growing fairly quick on this channel. Cause I've really been pushing the whole YouTube thing, you know, making making my videos ser videos searchable by so putting in keywords. So uh, if my titles don't make sense, they make sense to me. I'm doing that crap on purpose. Cause I want to see what what's really going on in the algorithm world. I will tell you what, source traffic's at forty percent. Forty percent YouTube search. I wanted to say a lot more than that, but. I can't bitch about that. Why are they going to change sizes up on me again? Shark knows about that. <laughs> hey, Shark, how many sizes of screws in hard drives, buddy? <laughs> Layback Squad Gaming. What up? How'd you find me? Or did I find you? That's a hard choice right there to figure out. Damn, you know what? I'm going mess with this later. I ain't got time for it. I'm going to check this other top. See that? Stainless steel, I guarantee you, that's not aluminum. Stainless steel, magnet don't stick to it. It goes with this. All right. It goes with this. Some of this, and I think uh, some of these rivet holes got some steel on them. Maybe not. Maybe not. Not even the tacks, huh? Normally, uh, you would think the tacks would be. But they're never, they never are. More, more stainless. I got some stainless in the back of the truck, too. Uh, we did decent on this little dumpster drive we did. Um, old Kuntz was like sitting there hearing me. I uh, wasn't really bitching or complaining. I just said, I'm tired of being broke and shit. And he's like, well, go to the plumbing dumpster. I said, man, I don't feel like it. And he sent me a tip. Said, go get your pop. Take your ass to the plumbing dumpster. So I went and got me and the old lady a pop, and we went to the plumbing dumpster. I come out with a fountain, with a full fountain, a shell to a fountain, and a fountain they already tore apart for me. It was very nice of them. I love when they do that. You're at dialysis right now. What? Who is that? Is that Randy? <laughs> dialysis. Good God. See that, y'all? Life ain't so bad. Be on YouTube thinking, I want to escape. At least you ain't at dialysis. Damn, I feel for you, man. They, they tried that with me, that dialysis, once. I had a DVT, a deep vein thrombosis in my leg from when I boxed. And uh, they were shooting me with blood thinners. They said, if you don't pee in the next three days, we're going to shock your kidneys. I said, you're going to let me pass is what you're going to do. Shoot, man. I know about that. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing good. Nothing fun, y'all, at all. You know, getting your getting your uh, head split open and have to get it seared back together. I'd rather do that. They give you better dope. 
All right, well, we got all that crap. Partially, anyway, to where I can mess with it tomorrow. Then I'm going to put my gloves on for this stuff right here. Cause this stuff been in the shiznick, you know what I mean? It's plumbing dumpster. I grabbed me one of these because I could take my uh, grinder, split that copper piece off of there, cut that pipe right off that brass, just split it and it cuts. I've got all these hoses I'm going to go ahead and start doing. I don't usually do the hoses, but you know what? I'm missing out because I throw a lot of them in 10 shred. But sometimes you got to check them, man. Sometimes they're steel wax. I don't know. I've got this brass boy here. A little bit of brass. It might be copper. No, it's, that's brass too. Got a little brass there, a little brass there. And then they cup these on them pipes. These are the, the rounds they put around that uh, plastic to hold the valve. Hold the valve, I mean the plastic, just like this right here. Holds it on that piece of brass right there. Just like that, it holds it on that coupling brass right there. I got a bunch of these, and this is brand new in a bag. I'm sure I could have sat there and picked that dumpster. But uh, I don't like going over there till about 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock, I took out the uh, beast real quick and then got what little bit I can get. I'll go hit it tomorrow real well after they get off work. Brass. Brass. We love these vowels. These little things add up, man. You get you about 100 of them vowels, you got some moolah. Throw it all that crap and shred, pal. I knew Mike was in the house when I read the comment. Now, why on earth would I do that? And if I take in dirty, dirty stainless steel, I'm still going to get 15 cents. I'm just saying. Got a little deal with the guy down there on the stainless, man. So I'm not taking it in dirty, though. I want my I want my 17, 18 cents. Why would I throw it in 10 shred there, Mr. Mike? How you doing, buddy? Oh, and then we got these. I don't know if... I didn't even look at this, man. It's probably used. They probably put a new one on and uh, took the used one off. But uh, these are the automated flushers. And I'll tell you right now, there's brass nut right there. This is all cast, die cast. Yeah. Inside there is a nice little brass valve, though. And I will take it apart. To get that nice chunk of brass because all that weight here isn't this cast on the outside, it's that brass on the inside. So I will take that apart and put that in the to do box for tomorrow when the kids are driving me nuts. Don't virtual homeschool, y'all. Say no to virtual. <laughs> Just saying. So, yeah, I'll show you guys uh, the other sinks. Uh, hang out for a minute, smoke a cigarette. Go in the house. Hey, Shark, do you like these little actuator? Blah, blah, blah. You like those little things, man? If you do, I'll start saving them for you. I'll even leave a little copper, embarrassment piece of copper in there for you. I don't I don't collect them anymore. I set them off as quick as I can to whoever I can. What do you say? I missed it. Lay back. Yeah, you can't let it stop you. Hey, are you using another name there, Layback? I know who you are, right? Oh, that damn mosquito got my forehead, y'all. They're making their last stand over here. So let me take you on a tour if my phone don't kill out. I got this thing, Joey Ribbons, and rubber bands. Rubber bands on tripod. <laughs> yep. Why wouldn't you? Do it the freeway. Switch this phone around here. Mosquito bit and beat my ass. How you gonna let a mosquito beat you up? Camera. Facing back. There we go. So we got these two pieces of stainless. That's just a shell. I don't think it had anything in it. Just a shell of stainless. And I'm cool with that. Oh, there's a couple pieces of brass on it. Then we got this boy here. He probably got about two and a half, three pounds of number two. Uh, another pound and a half if you pull the motor apart, a pound. 
but I'm not into cutting these up anymore unless I get an abundance of them and free. Then I'll cut them up all day long. So we got that little bit of crap, and then like I showed you in that box, what I really want, oh yeah, and we got, holy moly, this thing right here, this pump, man, that is cast iron. That son of a gun weighs about, oh, if you drop that, listen to this. Oh, it about broke my toe. If you drop that in water, it's going all the way down, y'all. We want more of this. That's what we want right here. Even locally. Even locally, that's better than that stuff right there. That's sad. Yeah. We want more of that. We don't have enough. And that aluminum can go to hell right there. We got some there and some here. That's not enough, man. Kansas is in the house. What's up, my brother? From another mother. Let's see if I can put that link out there. I forgot how I did it the other day. Invite. Copy the clipboard. Um, how'd I do that? Post a comment, I guess. Uh, uh, nope, that's not how I did it. I think I did it like that. What the fizzuck? Copy. Nope, that didn't work. Well, I suck at this. Anyway, got some steaks on the grill. Bring one over, man. I'm good with some steaks. Let me try this one more time. Copy the clipboard. It don't let you do it through this stream yard over here, which sucks. This is ridiculous. Okay, it's copied. We get that. We get that, y'all. Um... See on here, on this phone, you don't type it in the chat on the bottom, which is ridiculous. You got to type it over here. Can't post comments to some destinations. I ain't trying to hear all that crap. See if I didn't do that wrong or something. I don't know. I'll just run the house and hit y'all on that. What's up, Ross Rooms? How you doing, buddy? We're just tinkering with some crap over here. Getting some of that WH, you know. Show Street Copper some memory. What do you mean, man? What you mean, Mike? Show him some memory. He knows what memory is. What? Doing burgers like in your yeah that burger in your last video man you said hot dogs are burgers that thing made me hungry mm -hmm. I tried to share this damn link out but this thing's being re ridiculous you know what let me turn the phone sideways to see what happens How about that still don't let you this is this is stupid. I'm going to have to go live some other way because this way ain't letting me copy and paste nothing. Paste. Oh, looky there. Yay, you got to hold it down in about 10 seconds. That's crazy. Y'all want to hit the link and come up, man? Hang out? Uh, we can do whatever y'all want to do, man, as long as it's legal. I don't give a shit. Oh, man. He was asking you about memory. What? What do you mean? He don't know. He knows what memory is. Ram sticks. <laughs> he might want some memory. I don't know. Yeah, I had to hold the button in, Shark. It's it's real weird how it works out on the phone. Plus, I, this phone, it ain't like a Galaxy phone. It's like some... It, it feels like a piece of junk off-brand off kind of deal. It's a piece of, piece of junk, man. Well, as soon as I see you, buddy, I'll add you to the, to the stream. What up, player? What's up? What's Robert happening? Well, it's gonna work outside, but... right. All right, you should be all right. Turn it a long way there, TikToker. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's froze. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at there. Bring out, bring one of those over, man.
<laughs> you can drop ship one of those to the house. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what happened? He left us. That's his phone, y'all. I'm gonna go in the house. Mosquitoes are working with the, with the mosquito spray on. They're sniffing that stuff and inhaling it. <laughs> what? Yes, I told him. Turn it down. Shut the door here. I'll go clean my mess up when I feel like it. Yeah. Let me borrow that area. We're going to jump on this computer because uh, I don't like doing this on the phone unless I'm out and about. So let me drop myself down. Y'all don't worry about it. And we're back. Well, I'm going to use Streamlabs, but uh, I haven't figured it all the way out yet. Um, I know you can put your tip cup in there and all that stuff. You ain't got to be worried about being monetized. But that's a good point. Oh, I know who you are. Hi, don't, don't I know who you are? Who this is? Way back. That sounds familiar, man. I don't know why. I have a problem if I don't know you. Um, damn mosquito. What my ass? I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's a big old knot right there. Mosquito done one. He won today. So I got a pile of hard drives right here. I'm going to have to do something with them, take them apart, whatever. Yeah. Take them apart, take the magnets out, stack them magnets up. Um, tired of losing magnets. I leave stuff laying everywhere, man, when I'm out and about. Y'all know the drill. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, he's a thermometer. That's the way to be. Uh, let me see if he'll get me out. Why my phone go crazy? As soon as I get on here. Urgh. Oh, Scrapper D said hi. Scrapper Z just uh, hooked me up with another scrub. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. That's awesome. Um, what we gonna do now here? Go look at my go look at my YouTube. I don't know why it, it deleted your comment or hid your comment like that. Here, I got this covered. Watch this. Boom. Now it won't mess with you. Alright. Go. Let me put these headphones on. Uh, I think the link's out there if you can't scroll back. I'll shoot it out one more time. I want someone to teach me that if you know if you know all the tricks to Streamlab, I I want your knowledge. Uh, now I won't mess with you. Whoa. Right. Oh. We got a little bit of phone echo. <laughs> yeah. The mosquitoes, man, uh, they're making their last stand, so it is what it is, you know. But I wasn't even going to go. I wasn't even going to go to the uh, plumbing dumpster. Old Coons was like, here, go get you a pop. He slapped me with an $8 tip. I said, go get you a pop, man. And, uh, we hit that plumbing dumpster. I said, I will load the kids up real quick. Got me a big one. How much are these? Like a buck? A dollar ninety. Dollar ninety. Man, you can't get a 16 ounce for a dollar ninety anymore. Shoot. Hey, Granny, how you doing? Oh, that'd be awesome if you'd help me, man. Oh, really? Baby says hi. <laughs> yeah, I, I just hurried up and jumped on this uh, StreamYard uh, kick because it's so damn easy to use, you know. Um, I would like to get Streamlabs going because I have a lot of share screens. I'm going to start doing uh, a couple product reviews, uh, etc. Oh, you saying hi to him? Yeah, come over a little bit so they can see you. Say hi. There you go. Go one, two, three. One. You're going to do it right now? One. Thumb. One. No? Okay. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a review on them headphones. I don't know if you caught the last live stream or not, but 
those headphones, they work. Uh, and they're generic. Well, they're not generic, but you know, they're not like uh, all the good earbuds that are out that you gotta pay a couple hundred dollars or, or 60, 70 bucks used. Ah! But they last two hours continuous. I was on for an hour and a half, percent so. I was a little over an hour and a half. So I know they last two hours, like it says, you know. I shot that link out there. Um, I don't know if Jerry's going to come up or not. I told him I was on, but, you know, he got life. He got things to do. Um, so, yeah, the, I, we're, what I really want to do, <laughs> what I really want to do is uh, get some good stuff, like some good, uh, good quality mic. Um, we're probably going to move something better. Hang tight, y'all. And fix something. I don't, want, I don't want to be real loud. Kids going crazy. You're standing there at me like they're lost. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're gonna move, and um, hopefully, I put a a little building up on this. Even if it's just one of those lawnmower sheds, you know what I mean? Something from the weather, because it don't get hella cold down here. I can hear that door echoing. Leave it open. Please. No. At any rate, I'll do it like I do at school. You'll be right on camera when I punish you. I'm not shy. Anyway, it'd be nice to get like a, a switcher and all that good stuff. That stuff costs money, man. I'm not going to sit here and keep begging uh, for tips. Um, and all that good stuff. You throw them in there, awesome. It don't get spent on ridiculous stuff. I'll tell you that. I also do the uh, affiliate links. I have uh, less than a thousand clicks and I'm at two bucks. So imagine if I push that a little bit harder. It's just experimental right now. I'm going to go further with that down the road. What would you say? No, no sir, my granny tried to teach me. She knows. Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah, it'd be just, it's time to upgrade, try to become better, better at this, um, better software, better everything, you know, can't live the same damn RV park for the rest of my life, and um, it's just sickening, if I'm going to spend 800 bucks a month to live somewhere, why not make it worth it, you get what I'm saying, With that being said, uh, we do have something going on this week uh, sometime. It's supposed to be tomorrow, but it's not looking good for tomorrow. Yeah. One second. Had to get the old Mama Ruski, the baby's throwing a fit, y'all. He was. Now he's not. Oh. <laughs> it's usually what happens. You go say, hey, can you grab him? Because I can't just run and take off. He wants Elmo. You guys ought to hear him say Momo. Yeah. He says Momo already. It's awesome. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know our dialect, but that's a dialect. Okay. <laughs> uh, kind of lost. Sometimes when you type something in, so I'm not being mean. I can't. I can't really. Uh, can't really understand what you're typing. But I know if you say it, it's going to be different. Well, Brian G responded to one of my comments. That'll make a mofo feel good. When a big U timer goes to a small U timer and says, "I appreciate that," makes you feel good, you know. I'm getting to the point to where I'm trying to answer every comment. But when you jump 100 or something subscribers in a couple weeks, it's kind of hard to catch up. It is what it is. Who else did I uh, not say hi to? I thought I saw Scrap and Irish in here. He probably burned off by now. It's getting late over there. I said hello to Shark and hi to Granny. Hey, Granny. I'm laid back gamer. Squad gamer. My bad. Don't get mad at me. I said hi to Mike. Ross. 
If I didn't say hi to you, just tell me in the chat, and I'll say hi to you, man. I ain't that type of person, you know. I appreciate everybody coming in. Uh, we're almost at 2,000 watch hours already. I know you want 4,000, but I ain't tripping on that 4,000 and, and 1,000 subs, because even after that, then what? <laughs> you still got to do the same thing you're doing now. What's the difference from now till then? Oh, because they can hit that tip button and give Google 30% of your money? Man, I ain't into all that. I think I'm going to turn that crap off once I hit it anyway. I might put AdSense on the videos. That's it. Beginning and end. Make them skippable, too. That stuff's annoying anyway. The only reason I'll watch the beginning video is if it ain't like two to five minutes long. If you got like a one of those quick set videos that you can't skip and it's only like a 15 second or I'll watch it I won't back out of the video you got a skippable ad it's only a two minute long I'll watch the whole thing for you you know because I'm going to your channel to watch your video anyway I'm also give you a few cents a few cents if you're lucky one to three cents um, but if you got one of them five minute things man when I come in I'm skipping that song bitch I ain't gonna lie to you you got a five minute intro I mean, commercial to get into your stuff. Yeah, I'll go check out your YouTube channel. Believe that. Man, we don't care if y'all are live. Why well, I get so many notifications as soon as I go live? It's like everybody got got to kind of, they, they, the phone got to go crazy as soon as you get on here. There's got to be a way to turn that off. Got to be. It's stupid. I'm gonna start figuring all this out a little bit better. Uh, Shark Scrapper. I see you in a couple of the places I like to go and hang out and listen to, to real knowledge. Not that I read I read a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Real knowledge. How they get their knowledge is from experience. Um, you know, lots of research, lots of experience. And uh, they're right. They're right. Their tricks are working, obviously. Because uh, i become searchable on YouTube uh, already. And I haven't even, like, really pushed the boundaries of what I can do. I'm just trying things out, seeing how they work, seeing what, what happens with it. If it don't work, then it don't work. But the people that I go and see, I'll see a 59-minute ad before. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you're going to gonna put an ad out there, 59 minutes, man. <laughs> you, you think you're going to get 59 minutes out of me? That ad better tip me some ad sense. That's just all i got to say about that. Shame, man. They threw me a thumbs up on the comment. Thanks, buddy. I don't know if you guys don't have Shame, man. Do have Shame, man. Go over and check him out, man. He's awesome. You guys know that. He's almost at 20K, and I want to see a 20K giveaway from that guy. Kind of want to enter it because it's going to be something good at 20,000 subs. <laughs> He's funny. Him and Bob both, man. Creators don't get to choose their ads or how long they are. Yeah, but you can choose whether they're clickable ads, right? You know what I mean? I get you don't get to choose the length of the ad. But I'm saying, if your ad only counts down from five, from less than five minutes, I'll sit there and watch it. If your ad has a bar this long, and we can all tell it's going to be like a 20-minute, 15-minute ad. Now, I love you, but I'm not sitting there watching that whole thing. You probably get credit after like 30 seconds to a couple minutes anyway. I don't know what it is. And I'm not going to ever pretend to know what, you know, I'm not going to pretend that I know. Even if I did know, I probably would be wrong a week later because they're going to change it. Y'all know how it goes. Yep, before and after. Yeah, there you go. Because if, if you have a video, <clears throat> there's only one person I watch that has ads that I will watch every ad in their video, even if there's five or ten only up to 30 seconds and then I'll hit the skip button and I'm gonna be honest with you there's two people <clears throat> my first two people that inspired me on YouTube scrap pallet man Paul and Shane on Shane man TV and we do associate that man ain't very often with well Shane and I talk pretty good Paul is always busy we got the church and everything in life you know but um they know I'll tell them hey man uh Hit you on Facebook. I just watched a 20 minute ad, dude. You owe me. <laughs> I'll let them know. Uh, Ooh, I'm thirsty. That little bit of chucking up. I felt like I needed a donk. Hey, Coons, 
Send Matt over here once in a while, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if he's in here, to be honest with you. He'll let me know if he is. Who's a uh, neighbor girl Bradshaw? I've never seen you, have I? Huh. I'll look you up right now. You got a YouTube channel? I'm going to check out Laid Back, too, real quick, y'all. Bear with me. Cause I, if someone, if you said you know about Streamlab OBS. If you know about that, I want to know about that, to be honest with you. Um, no? I must have said hi to you, or, or we know somebody that knows each other. I don't know. Oh, he's on his way? All right. I need a donk, man. Shoot. Put an ad out there. Hey, you want to be on YouTube? <laughs> Free of charge? I won't charge you. Ah, uh, where we at? Way back. Where'd you go? Oh, there we go. On bypass shark screw. Oh no no. The way he's doing, I tell you, shark strapper is commercial quality. And I'm not kissing his ass. He knows that. Now, when you watch his videos, you're thinking, man, where's that Dewalt commercial coming on? Because he's using a drill or something. When you talk and speak like, like I just said ass, I probably wouldn't do that in a video. Uh, I shouldn't, probably shouldn't do it in a live, but, man, it's in the Bible, dude. But when you listen to that, man, you're thinking, soft boys, uh, why aren't you promoting products? But he, he's his own YouTuber. He, he's his own creator. He can do whatever he wants to do. I'm surprised he don't either, you know, have, uh, like, something lined up like that. Or maybe he does have it in work. We just don't know it. I'm trying to type and talk at the same time. Uh, just like Trident, for me, it doesn't work. Wait a minute here. Why does space on me like that? Is that how your channel is titled? Oh, I see you now. Oh, who is this? Oh, gotcha. What kind of games? I'm going to check that, man. And, uh, I don't know if you know me or I know you, but uh, let me know who you are. If I don't know you, hit the email. It's in the about section over here on, on the uh, channel page. No more person. Maybe. I don't know who you are either, but I'm going to find out. Once it be someone I'm known, I'll feel like embarrassed or something. <laughs> There's nothing better to be on here and have somebody in the chat and not know who they are by their name. And then you go over to the channel and you're like, oh, shoot, I know that person real well. I feel like I'm all wrong. <laughs> That's why I like my favorite videos because uh, you can't so show someone what not to do. <clears throat> you're not a real person then. Or at least tell them, hey, uh, this is what I did wrong. You know what I mean? Who is this person? I don't know who you are. 72 subs. No videos. You're doing good. Yeah. Real good. Nothing wrong with that, though. <clears throat> Why would he say? Just a regular dude trying to figure this out like everyone else. That's right, but um, I see you in the right in the right areas. On the right chats and stuff. I see you right over there. I'm right there with you. I don't see a lot of people. I see Mo there too. I can't. I can't say I don't see a lot of people there, but I seen Mo there as well, which is uh, spectacular. And I seen Scrap and Pallet Man over there too. On the other brothers, yeah. So uh, that tells me something right there, y'all. When you're out and about and you're on someone's live to get to spit knowledge to you, and you see a big YouTuber there, it's got over a hundred k. Must be in the right spot. Or something with a tip yeah how you doing appreciate you coming in Liz um, we're not really a, a house dropping uh, crew here but I will put you up on display how's that sound that way everybody knows you're here sound good to you sounds good to me appreciate everybody coming in I'm going to shoot this link out there one more time because uh, this guy's running out of crap to talk about. I'd rather talk about y'all. How you're doing. 
how you guys been. Um, don't matter about how, how I've been. I'm here for you. We are here for you. Listen, it we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. So why not be here for you? You get what I'm saying? Links out there. Uh, if you want to put a friendly face to that name over there in the chat, do so. We like that. We like company. What you want, dog? Here's dog. Rusty. What are you doing? Come here. Want to say hi to him? Huh? Want to say hi to everybody? I told you to load that truck up, dog. What's the matter with you? I told you to load that truck up. Huh? I told you to load that truck up. Right? You didn't listen. Now the ten threads all mixed in with the good stuff. Oh my. Yeah, no problem on the jacket. We don't do a whole bunch of that dropping house thing, but uh, if there's someone in the chat you want to search up, see what their channel's about, feel free to do so. You know? A lot of these people uh, with the names that you guys never seen, they're people supporting me from overseas. And uh, some of them, this is the only way they have to make money. <clears throat> or not really the only way, but you know, it's a supplementary income, uh, supplemental income. And uh, a couple hundred bucks a month to them is the bomb. You get what I'm saying? It helps them a lot. You got to give the middle finger if you're coming up. Yeah, that's how it works over here. Got to throw the bird. That way I know it's you. I tried to catch you one. <laughs> What's what you doing there, man? No, no, you can hear me. Yeah, but uh, you got YouTube side playing loud too. Like when you're in Streamyards and YouTube, it echoes. Oh, I don't know how to turn that off. It's all good. Don't worry about it. These guys. Yeah, I'm at dialysis. See. Yeah, you you got more going on. You don't have to worry about the echo for these guys. No offense, y'all. Uh, What's up, Marty? Okay. How you been doing? We've been all right. We do what we can do, you know what I mean? Yeah. Steam Labs is easy to um use. The, the main problem I can help I have you with Stream it. Yard. That'd be great. The main problem I have with StreamYard is I tried to add this camera. I tried every little thing that I could figure out myself. I'm not slow. I build computers, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, couldn't add it. I just gave up. Nah, it's easy. It's real easy. Um, I got a friend that does long hauling, and I help him with his channel. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah he's out on the road that. right now. Yeah, I, there's a lot of trucker channels going out now, which is good. You know. No, nah, he's a gamer like me. But just that he um, does long hauling as his job. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Um, yeah, I, in my bow section, there's email. If you hit me up, I'll straight give you my phone number. I okay, no problem. And uh, too, or we can go back stage on this one. You know what I mean? All right. Um, I go to dialysis Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday nights. I'm free during the daytime, but I go to dialysis for eight hours at night. All right. Just um, let me know when you got some free time, and uh, I'll try to make it to where I got some free time, too. All Let's right. Go. I appreciate you coming up, man. Dude, if you bless uh, me with that, man, I'm going to share the wealth with everybody that, that needs help. You know what I mean? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't mind helping anybody, too, because, you know, everybody got to eat. Yeah, everybody needs help with something or another. Guaranteed right. So you don't true. mind if I uh, You don't mind if I blast your link out there, do you? I don't care. Do what, do what you right. want to do. Yeah, because anybody that helps me, man, deserves help as well. But everybody deserves help. And I do help. appreciate that, that, it. That statement came out the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, 
I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get in trouble tonight with this one nurse. Why? <laughs> oh, I like those. picking on her. Uh, yeah, I like picking on her. Uh-huh. <laughs> nah, she a nice lady. I just like picking on her. Let me set your link out there for you. Man, I, yeah, look out on that stream lab, man. I want to figure out how to, um, I know there's a lot of things you can do with it. You can build your little symbols that come up and roll over for your subscribe and all that stuff. Yeah, um, I just added where I can have an avatar doing reaction on my live stream, but the app is having some kind of problem, so so I'm like sitting there fighting that, but other than that, you know, I can help you do whatever you want to do on it. Really what I want to do, man, is I have a 94-page book over there, and in the Philippines, poverty is like a really big issue, you know? Mm. And if I, if I could get through that book with them a little bit at a time, mm. but page per page, I'm going to have to transfer it to Gallo, maybe get someone that speaks to Gallo a little bit. Um, okay. That would be great. I could layer those pages out and do like, you know, eight pages a day or something. Okay. You know you could download Steam Labs on your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, I, I would be using it here at the house, though. It would be a little bit easier. Yeah. And also, there's another program. You heard of Steam, right? Yeah. Download Steam. Look for a program called Face Rig. Face what? Face Rig. Like big rig? rigs. I got you. Yeah, rig. And just to do some like reactions with your um your viewers, like next time you go live, instead of you using your face, you can use like a hamburger or a fox and stuff like that. All right, all right. Yeah. Um, and you can, like, on your, like, if someone hits you with a tip or something, like, you know, the little tip pay cup thing? The tip jar. The ad sub deal. Mm hmm. I, I mean, I've, I've seen a guy who's done a bunch of those, but uh, he don't, he's a pilot, so he don't really have whole bunch of time he's trying to do the same program i'm doing part of his group okay yeah they got a it's another program on there where you can also make your own tip jars yeah it's a bunch of build programs on there i need to figure out all that just like obs too you can do your background and then cut yeah. yourself out and layer yourself on stuff yeah um that's how like oh lord what's the name of the program it's where you don't have to buy a green screen yeah yeah um i forgot what it's called because i was going to use it but i was like nah i'll just wait till another time to probably sit down and work with that What's another thing with the OBS, uh, Streamlabs or OBS, when you have a green screen, it's a lot better than the stream, stream yard is. Yeah, yeah. Because so I, I use it here, and it's sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. What, a green screen? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I told my friend, his channel is Viking Red Bear. I told him, I said, you don't have to actually buy a green screen. All you got to do is go to Walmart and go to the fabric, fabric department and buy just the, uh, the, uh, the green sheet, mm -hmm. the green fabric, and hang it up in your, uh, hang it up right behind you. With thumbtacks. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what we do. Yeah. So how long yeah, you been man. a scrapper? Uh, well, I mean, if you guys want to know the truth, probably since the day I was born, my father had his own scrapping company. So no, pretty much okay. grew up in the scrapyard. Uh, years ago, you know the big coal shovers you see in Ohio and West Virginia and the pitchers with the big buckets? 
yeah. huge buckets. He used to cut those down when they're retired. Oh. And lift up rail. Real rail. What are you doing, dog? Shit. Oh, um, okay. They, yeah, that rail, it's called OTM. And back when we were lifting up, it was $99 a ton. Which is hey, like three God. pieces, 12 foot long or so. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, we're taking in tonnage. Oh, Marty put out a video, y'all. Hmm. Yeah, I was putting in your chat earlier that I love all y'all um videos. I watch, I'm subscribed to all of them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we we like we like uh good followers, you know. I'm gonna put all y'all um links in my description the next time I go live. I'm going oh, live be awesome. should be tomorrow. Yeah, should be tomorrow afternoon. Now that you said that, I don't think I hit the ring all. I sure I hate when I do that. I got it now. <laughs> I'm glad you said something because I wouldn't have thought about it. Uh yeah, tomorrow I'll be doing Destiny 2. That's an older game, isn't it? Uh-uh. That's a a newer game of Destiny 1. It's just part two. Uh, okay, I'm not really into it. When you say like a name like Destiny, I'm thinking like way back when on the Yeah. No. Oh, I'm, not, okay. I'm not a really big gamer. I'll watch, but I wouldn't know what to do. So don't oh, ask me okay. for my advice. That's what I'm telling you. I'll just I'll mess you up worse. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, to respond to what Shark said earlier about YouTube, YouTube is really easy to build viewers and followers. It's just that is what all you do with your viewers. Mine slow down because I got sick with dialysis and I come here three nights a week. That's what slowed me down. And um, and what really slowed me down was I did home dialysis and I kept getting sick. I kept yeah. ended up in the hospital. Like one time I was in the hospital for a whole month because I almost died. And um so between doing that and working with YouTube and then there's it was Mixer and Facebook and Twitch. Believe me. Doing this is a lot of work but it's easy. It's just doing stuff with your viewers. Like what you doing now, how you can talk to them, you know, just keep promoting yourself on like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, do giveaways like once a month. Play games because I do eight ball on my um on my live stream sometimes. Oh yeah. Yeah, and they'll keep them. You know, they'll tell somebody else, and somebody else will tell. Dang, I like that. It's a copper bar. It's uh almost three pounds. I got two of them to give away at one K. Oh, okay. Well you let keep me updated and I'll let people know on my channel too about it. All right. Appreciate it. And that, I'll man. um and I'll keep the link to your channel in my description. That'd be awesome. Um All I'm right. gonna leave you on the screen. I'm gonna leave your it probably looks backwards. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> you gotta see my name over there. Yeah, because it's StreamYard. You know how it does. Yeah. You gotta see that name over there. You wanna check out a cool mofo. Go check him out. <laughs> All it right. Took time from dialysis to come up here and say, you know, thank you and watch you and all that. Man, that, that guy's in, doing some stuff right now. Y'all don't need to know about. Well, I have no clue. Yep, Thank I know. You. But hey, <laughs> but dialysis ain't that bad. I mean. I don't let it. Out of you, bro. Yeah, but I don't let it stop me. I don't. I be out there in the yard doing all kind of stuff, and my little sister, she was like, "Aren't you tired?" I'm like, "Nope." Man, you're a tough, bud. <laughs> hey, I got four kids, and if I slow down, they gonna slow down. Right. So, 
I ain't gonna slow down to the day my eyes close. That's the only way you can be. Yes, sir. I got a daughter. Well, I got a son. He works from three in the morning to about eight and no, he got us off for like twelve in the afternoon. And I got another daughter. She's out of school. I got two more that's still in school. Look, I'm not slowing down for nothing. Don't sound like you got a chance. Ooh, got a chance. All right, I'm trying. I just hope one of them hit rich. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's all I'm, I'm hoping on. Heck yeah, man. We got uh, one more person in the basement. Bill, you know okay. the rules. Got to flip us off or you can come up, buddy. <laughs> oh, we caught him. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> What's up, brother? It was my pinky. It was my pinky. Mm. <laughs> What's That's going what on, sir? <laughs> so what's happening, guys? Get ready to start a project. Oh yeah. Spot two hundred dollars on brand new lumber for the floor of my trailer today. Oh, I got you. You've been talking about that trailer for a while now. I'm trying to get to where I can park a trailer somewhere because they won't let you do that here. Dang, for real? Yeah, I'm in a kind of up uppity RV park. Oh. If there if there is such a thing, but <laughs> I found the one. Oh, okay. Your Put a kitchen Bill? tent in it. Tell him it's a patio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How you doing, Bill? <laughs> I'm doing okay. That's good. You, are you redoing your trailer? Yeah. The truck went yeah, through it. Through. Holy crap. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. I hope it wasn't yours. It was one junk one. Was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I told my wife I want four trailers. Put them all together. Oh, you mean like she was house like trailers. what? Huh? You mean like mobile homes? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, hey, Bill, I'm going to let you know. I don't know in your state, but I'm going to let you know. Don't look up on bricking up your trailer. Because if you brick up your trailer like a house, the value on your trailer will go up. Oh, this is a car trailer, a flat trailer, yeah. jump trailer. Oh, Even crap. still. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah, I got the truck you. went through it like he was towing a train. Oh, dang. I'm sorry to hear that. I would have drove my fist had no through wheels his on it. The hub went through the wood. No, no. He's taking it to the scrapyard. Dang. Boy, well, look here. My fist would have been been driving through that man phase. Now this is oh, one he was driving scrapping. that truck. He was putting his a scrap car on the trailer to take it to the junkyard to make money. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay. I was about to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was somewhere I lay my head every night. Oh yeah. It was seen four knuckles and a dumb. So how long you been scrapping, Bill? Since I was 14. I'm trying to get into the scrapping, the scrapping thing also. But I'm still learning a little bit here, a little bit there. Like I tore down a washing machine. It's still sitting on my back porch. And um, 
he said, I tore down a washing machine, a microwave, and that's it. And um, I just got to get back out there. Just watch huh? all the scrappers. Watch all the scrappers out here. You'll learn everything you need to know. Well, where I live at in South Carolina is not that many. So that's why I watch a lot I mean, of videos. I expect, yeah, that's why I say like a lot of videos. Like I'm subscribed to a, like a lot of y'all. I'm subscribed to a lot of y'all and I've been watching y'all videos. But the difference is, is just that y'all know it like the back of y'all hand. This is my first year doing it. And it's then a my magnet sticks to it. Take all the screws out of it. The magnet sticks to it. Get rid of it. Throw it in a ten shred pile. If it don't stick to it, keep it. Tear it down the right way. Best way to do it. Oh. Uh, Cause I mean, I was back there like getting the motor off the washing machine. I was picking that thing up, body slamming it, jumping on it. I like, you know what? I'm going to AutoZone. I just buy the tools. <laughs> yeah. A little bit easier that way. Because I didn't have all the tools. I was like, I'm like, man, if this thing don't come off, I'm going to make it come off. <laughs> right? And my neighbor, she was looking at me through the gate. She was like, neighbor, you all right? I looked at her. I said, you got a saw? She was like, no. I said, you got a gun? She was like, oh, no. I said, uh, flu shot. Oh, the flu shot. Uh -oh. And I was like, they gave me the flu. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? Huh? I hear you. The flu? Every time I get a flu shot, I get it. Yeah, uh, me too. Me too. I don't, I don't really get them. That's been years since I got one. Dang. If I get it, my mom, she works at a doctor's office, so I'm good. So you know what the I'm best learning. cold medicine in the world is, right? Moonshine? That? I don't know if I'm supposed to say the name of it on here, but it's cinnamon, cinnamon whiskey. Cinnamon whiskey. You ever had that before? Yeah. Uh, Y'all heard her? I'm not going to say the name of it. Oh. Uh, well, hot damn. Uh, it starts with fire. Right, fire. Thank you. Fireball. Fireball? Yeah. yeah. No, he said he wouldn't say the name on there. I'm live. That's fine. You can say it. Nothing wrong with it. A fireball, you drink about a half, half a bottle of that, you'll know it for two days afterwards because your chest will be on fire. She chest be on fire. I'd be in the dang on grave. Uh -huh. I'm on dialysis. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bill trying to put me in my grave before my last child get out of school. <laughs> well, I didn't know you had to be on dialysis. Yeah, it's that's where I'm at. Now. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna say hi. You gonna say hi? Huh? Hey, buddy. Sport little baby. <laughs> yeah, it's your sport. Yeah, we got two pits. I got him, him and, a, and a, a, beagle. a beagle. Oh, okay. My mama, she's babysitting her boss dog and is mixed with a, a lab. And a German Shepherd. It's a Shepherd. No. <laughs> Is it a German mixed with a German Shepherd? I know it's a lab. Oh, Golden Retriever. 
It's mixed with a lab and uh golden retriever. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna drop down and pick tall. it up back on my phone, y'all. All right. All right. I think the weirdest dog I ever had was a Boston and a pit bull mix. Hey, hey. How you end up with something like that? It was on a farm. So, Bill, how do you scrap your cars? You take them whole or you break them down? By the time I get them, usually there's not much left to break down. Oh, okay. What's the roughest, it's got the roughest you ever had? I'm on, I'm on the internet, Dad. The worst one I've had to load was a 90, 90 or 80s model burned out Camaro. Dang. You don't resell them? That they ain't worth reselling by the time up the by the time I get them. No, nah, there's a guy who I watch. He's called um Oh Lord. Oh Lord. him and his dad does the channel. And they take burnt, tore down, weird looking cars. <laughs> weird looking and, huh? Weird looking cars. <laughs> yeah. They do like you talk about turtle rolls. Yeah. Yeah, if you get a hold of them and send they them look, pictures, they'll huh? the, the state that they live in, the cars don't rot out as bad as they do here in Illinois. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And that's a different story. When they man. picked the Camaro up off the trailer, when they, it folded in half. Yeah, Lee. Um, you ever heard of Rust Bros? Yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. They buy cars like that. Especially the dad. They also the take and haul away a lot of mm. demo cars. You said demo cars? Yes. Yeah. Bill's got a lag there. Revolution so cars. That's why he don't mean to talk earlier. Yeah, he just got it. a lag where he's at. Yeah, I know. He's a big good. lag. <laughs> Oh, he's good. What's, what's up, Biz Deck? You have a I like I'm low on Puerto. What was that? You have a haul of 18 wheeler? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I Seen so it's another guy named Jay something John something, and him and uh his friend named Beaver, man, they be hauling any and everything. Bro, they be scrapping any and everything. There's one trucker here, and when he goes, when he goes west, empty. Or what goes west and drops the delivery off and comes back empty, he buys cars there and brings them back here to sell them. Oh, okay. All right. What's the most copper y'all ever found? Ever? Ever? I got gifted about 148 pounds once. That's probably the most. Golly. Yeah. Just last week, I picked up half a dumpster of extension cords. 
Man, I need to move in y'all neck of the factory. I'm in the wrong place. I mean, you just got to get lucky on it, man. Check all the dumpsters. You know, look around on trash day and stuff. Yeah. Or have a friend that works in the place that they're throwing the stuff away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Computer well, scrap. That's where the money is. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to start working with this guy also. He works on cars. He got his own bit on a, his own mechanic shop. And believe me, he got stuff all over the place that he don't want. Yeah, there's good uh, good money in mechanic scrap. It's either short iron, aluminum cast, all kind of stuff, mm -hmm. man. Batteries, all that catalytic converters. He tried to I give me a whole, huh? I tilt the phone down when I'm hitting a cigarette in case of the kid's watching or something. That's a, uh, that's a graphic card, Bill. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's a, were you selling it? Saving them. I ain't been able to yet, but I've been saving them. How much you want to sell that for? That one needs to be cleaned and checked before anything else can go with it. Well, how much do your uh, graphic cards go? I usually get them for scrap from the computer shop. Oh. It gets overstocked. Oh, okay. Oh, that's another one. Brent, that one was brand new. Still in the package. Don't even have any dust in it. How much you want to let that go for? Well, I'm going to look up on eBay and stuff to see if I can find what others are going for before I take and make my prices. Oh, okay. Because you know you can do raffles. I've got a whole box. Okay. You can do raffles on them. You can do, uh, I don't want to say giveaway because you need the money right now. Um, you can do live. Everybody bids. needs money right now. Oh, believe me, I know. <laughs> um, you can do live bids on your live stream on them. Um, what else? Um, better video quality when you're watching, when you're when you're rendering and stuff like that, kind of helps out a little bit. Yeah. The I got a friend, Dumpster Jerry. He has a uh, eighth gen stuff right now. He's sending to me. I was mm. gonna buy it at a good price, but uh, he said, "Don't worry about it. Just give him a good little tip." I'm gonna give him a good little tip for him. <laughs> the eighty-seven i seven eighty-seven hundred K. Dang. I've been trying to get up with Shark. For the longest on his uh one of his live streams, because I got a three year old com uh, gaming computer, and I need a uh CPU and a uh graphic card. What CPU? He, he sends me all the CPUs that, that are resale. Like, I've been trying to at least get an i five. I can't throw an i seven in my um. In my computer because the motherboard ain't you know three years old and i don't want to uh, overclock my motherboard or burn her out what just uh in the email send me the motherboard uh all the letters and stuff Stats on, it. on it all yeah. right and i'll tell you what you put in there and i'll send it to you uh appreciate it probably gonna get like fourth gens third gens he sent me a list today but i just grazed through it real quick no oh, okay bro 
this one guy. Rose probably go yell at me, but every time I take him. Go ahead, Bill. The chips out of the computer. I just throw them in a toolbox. Yeah, that's where you're you're hurting yourself a little bit there, because there might be an I series chip in there worth a couple bucks. <coughs> yeah, it'll be a uh, second gen I five, third gen I five, and fourth gen I fives. Mm -hmm. so, well, if you want to look at the stats on my computer, I got an old man. It's an old man. I mean, an HP old man. Oh lord, crap. Desktop, gaming desktop. I'll just send it to you when I get board. home. Make sure the motherboard's yeah. original and all that. And then, uh, just pull your side case off right by your um your cooler, your CPU cooler. There'd be a number right there. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. And I probably got a card for you too. What do you want? At least a two gig video card. I think one is a. Yeah. 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 Here's the other thing too. Is it a small form factor? Or is it a regular tower? A uh, regular, yeah, regular tower. Okay. Because that makes a difference as well. If it's a SFF, small form factor, you got to have a low profile card, not a regular one. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then I just um. Well, not me. My wife, she just got the money uh, to get me on um, my Elgato HD. What is it called? HD 60 Pro. That goes in the uh, computer. So, Gotta that's have a right USB above. Or better. Huh? You got the, uh, the USB connection has to be a 2.0 or better for that card. Blue. No, um, this one, the Pro, the Pro that I got, it goes into the computer. Yeah. It's a slot yeah. card. Oh, okay. You got the slot card one. All right. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, because usually when it's external, if you don't have a USB 2.0 or higher, it ain't going to work. Mm -hmm. But see, what a lot of people don't know, that when you, when you hook something up to your computer, say like your camera if say like you got an older camera and your cord for your camera is like five feet long a lot of people don't know the further your cord is the slower signal that that camera will get from the computer and sends back to the computer that's just like a lot of people don't know that when your wi-fi router is too far away you get too much cord you might as well just be using Wi-Fi. Yep. A lot of people don't know that either. That's what I'm running off of right now. Why about that far from the laptop? Come on now. You're giving yourself credit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I can reach out over and touch it. All right now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I got a mosquito bite right on my damn forehead today. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they're, they're, put a they're hot trying rag to make their on last... Yeah, I just put a little X on it, man, and I'll cover it up with my hat. <laughs> just put a rag on it. Oh, thank you, BizDak, for sharing that out, brother. And uh, who else did it? Somebody else did it here. From Maya, I think Maya Santos did. No, oh, okay. I, yeah, I can't see the chat, and I don't want to push chat, and it shut no. y'all down. Yeah, this is my do first time, time doing this. Let me respond to this message, y'all. I'm sorry. But hey, Bill, how often do you go live? Not very. Not very. Oh, okay. Well, just like I was telling, telling him that um, y'all should you should try a program called Steam Labs. Yeah, 
Yeah, I gotta get privy to that stream I'm, lab, man. I'm, For real. I'm still trying to get to where I can take and have my internet in my shop. Um. Uh, you can't put a um router in your shop. It's an all-metal building. I have to hardwire it over there. <clears throat> yeah. Um, just go to. I would say Walmart, but I don't know how far you are from Walmart, and I don't know how far you are from your house. Um. Walmart sells a two, two hundred foot Ethernet cord, and just get They've you a been small out router box. Here for now. about a month. Here, I'll give you a link for it, man. I'll give you one of my affiliate links for it, Bill. I'll send it to your email, and uh, Amazon Prime will deliver it to you the next day. You talking about jumping a Wi-Fi out out to the? And then getting a repeater and all that. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. But right now, like I said, I just spun every dime I had getting that wood for the floor of my utility trailer. Oh dang! Man, I hate to cut you off. But I'm gonna mute this and run to the restroom. All right. Okay. When How you far are you from you your um I <laughs> know, right? <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know if I can for my shop. Mm -hmm. I back my trailer and my truck down in between the house and the shop. Oh, okay. Hold up. I didn't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> Um, what else about a good, good 200 feet or more? No, no. more like 20. Oh, like ah. then yeah, you can um, get an ethernet cord, um, run it from your, um, from your trailer to your shop. Get you about a hundred foot ethernet well, cord. I take it all away. I haul away from a computer shop, but I've got bunches and bunches of cord over there with no ends on it. Um. Oh, dang. Leftover spools. Then what you have to sit and do, if you can find you at least a hundred, a hundred foot, even though you said it's twenty. But you still gotta look at it. You gonna have to run, if you want to run it underground. Then you gotta look at it. you have to run it underground. Then if you gonna run it like above the the space, and then where are you gonna put the router at in the shop? So that's why I say at least a hundred foot. I mean a hundred yards. That's a hundred foot. You know what I mean? I've got a shelf right above the workbench. Okay. I'll just get you one of the, the Wi-Fi routers. It has the other adapter on the other end that you can plug into your stuff and run it to a window seal. That way you can reach signal. It'll reach. It should go like uh, 500 yards to the one I was looking at a second ago. I can only oh, you're talking for uh, Wi-Fi? Hmm? <clears throat> What's that? you talking about for Wi-Fi? Yeah. Oh, you talking about the Wi-Fi uh, router? Thing is, thing is, that shop has no windows in it. You can just listen. You can put the the Wi-Fi antenna that you plug into your USB through a hole or a crack where the roof is, hang it out there, and put a bag around it with a rubber band around it. And I'm gonna have to uh, plug it into your laptop inside when you take it in there or whatever. Preferably a laptop because the signal going to be better. It'll shoot directly to the house where you put the router by the window inside. 
Xbox. Oh, he can just buy the Wi-Fi uh, antenna instead of doing all that. Well, I'm going to get him a repeater router so he's guaranteed a signal. Okay. Because I know when you don't have good Wi-Fi, if you're on someone's live, it's going to be horrible. You know what I mean? Oh. oh, believe me, I know. I have a stack of them over there, but they all came from the computer shop as non-repairable. You say you got a what? A stack of routers over there, but they it says non-repairable on the stickers on them from the computer shop. Oh, they were all bad. What you got to do is just, like, get an Ethernet cord. If you got the power pack for them, just sit there, plug them up. It's just probably something small. Like, some of these, a lot of people don't know, some of these companies, like, the routers, they get hot. And if they get over hot, they'll shut down. And nothing will be wrong with them. All you got to do, just like a car, let it cool off, crank it back up, and get the move. And some companies don't even repair well, the last, them. They waste yeah. their time to repair them. Bill, you got the Wi-Fi last load now. I picked up was right after a big lightning storm. You got well, Wi-Fi now, right, in the house? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Where's your router at? Is it near a window? Right in front of the air conditioner. Because I turn the air conditioner off when it starts getting hot. Turn the air conditioner on to cool it down. Okay. Is it by a window? Yes. Yeah. I'm just going to get you one of these. Uh, the the link for a range extender, a good one. You just plug it in out there by the shop. As long as it's by a door or something that's open, it'll repeat that signal for you and go straight to your laptop. Man, the way how technology changed went from dial up to now Wi Fi. Yeah, <laughs> you got mail. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Yeah. Bro, I'm going to have to send you some stuff that you can try to see if you can sell to take it help to pay you back. What? So if you're going to order oh. something like that, I'm going to have to start sending you some stuff. Oh, no. I'm going to send you the link <coughs> so you can investigate yourself. And if you want to order it, I'm going to get a okay. whole 10 cent out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's how that works. But like I said, I don't know that much about electronics except for tearing them down. This will be simple. I'll make it simple for you. If I find something that, if I find something that looks real good, I'm gonna hold it back. I always do. I'm gonna let y'all. No I'm gonna let y'all know. Also, when y'all get electronics like computers and uh, routers and stuff like that, it's a website call uh board sort yeah, dot com I, I have board sort yes. videos on here oh okay they'll buy them from your cell phone old cell phone boards and stuff like that maybe check out my board sort packing box video all right i have watched our box How you doing, That's what you I'm should do. You. That's what you should do. Do just a uh, a video on board board short. Dang, I can't even get the I, word out my mouth. I already got one. Explaining about the website and how they uh money flexures up and down and stuff or prices. Oh, okay. Packing, packing a box for board sword. Mm, oh, okay. It's on there. You'll see it. 
My problem when it comes to scrapping is I'm a hoarder. I like to stack it back <laughs> in places and hide it until it comes up where I can get more money out of it. <laughs> oh, dang. Shit, you load that trailer up for a board, so I bet you you'll be paid aid, uh, you'll be buying another house. I know, right? Uh -huh. Microsoft be making, be um, calling him. Hey, can we get them boards back, sir? Well, y'all. And like I said, one of my pickups, one of my pickups is a computer store. No, okay. Hey, make sure you run over there, um, check out that board sort uh, packing video that I put up. I'll show you exactly how I do it, and uh, Chris likes it that way. And uh, it'll be easy for anybody, even if you don't know what boards. You go to their website and you click the little name. It's like a mm -hmm. hyperlink and it shows you a picture. You know, it's real simple. If you're if you actually uh, apply for like it's like a membership you know you just register your in you can tally up all your stuff with your weight to the exact ounce or, you know grams or whatever and the, the price list will keep adding and adding until you get to know what your total is it's awesome well, i'm gonna cut this one off y'all i don't mean to be rude but i gotta eat oh you go ahead i'm about to pass oh, out you. over here Appreciate you guys in the chat. I might right. be up in about an hour and a half, two hours. Let the Filipino people hang out with each other. You guys have a good day. <laughs> All right, you too. Nice meeting you. Later, Ryan. Later, guys. Later, Later, buddy. All right, Bill, you take it easy.